ਸੂਬਾ ਤਰਸੇਮ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੋਣਾ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਜਾਜ਼ਤ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਸਟੇਜ ਤੇ ਆਉਣ ਦੀ ਟੌਮ ਰੋਡ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਕਮੇਟੀ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅਤੀ ਤਨਵਾਦੀ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਕੀਮਤੀ ਵਕਤ ਕੱਢ ਕੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਇਕੱਤਰ ਤਾਂ ਹੋਏ ਮੈਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਸਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਮੈਂ ਬਸ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਰਨਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਮਿੰਟ ਸਾਹ ਸੰਗਤ ਦੇ ਰੂਪ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਾ ਮੈਂ ਟਾਈਮ ਲੈਣਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਉਪਰੰਤ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬੁਲਾਰੇ ਆਏ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਰਨਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਸੋ ਪਹਿਲੋ ਜੋ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਨਰਮੋਲ ਖੀਰਾ ਜੋ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਹੁਣੀ ਸੁਣਿਆ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਸੰਗੀਤ ਦਾ ਸਾਹ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪੁਰਾਣੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਹ ਸੰਗਤ ਦੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਨਾ ਇਹ ਉਹ ਸੰਗੀਤ ਇਹ ਪੁਰਾਣੀਆਂ ਰੀਤੀਆਂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਜ ਦੇਖੇ ਸਨ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤਬਲਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਮ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਆ ਇਹ ਐਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸਿੱਧਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਪੁਰਾਣੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜੋੜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪੁਰਾਣੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਇਥੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਅਸਾਜ ਜੋ ਬਚਾਰੇ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਈ ਹਰਮੋਨੀਅਮ ਆਦਿਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀਗਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਸੀ ਇਹ ਤਾਰਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਬਚਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਤਾਰਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਐਸੀ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਇਹ ਇਸ ਰਾਜ ਸੀਗਾ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਚੱਲਦੇ ਚੱਲਦੇ ਇਥੇ ਮੋਡੀਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਕੀਤੇ ਹੋਏ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਸ਼ਨਾਇ ਦੀ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਵਿਸਤਾਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਾ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਬਸ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਇਹ ਹੀ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸੰਤ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਗਾਇਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਰਾਗ ਦੇ ਰਾਏ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਥੇ ਤੱਕ ਲਿਆਂਦਾ ਇਹ ਸੀਗੇ ਉਸਤਾਦ ਗੁਰਬਖਸ਼ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਇਹ ਦੋਤਰੇ ਹਨ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਪੁਰਾਣੇ ਲੀਡ ਚ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਇਹ ਦੋਤਰੇ ਨੇ ਗਿਆਨੀ ਕੇਸ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਹੋਣਾ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਪੋਤਰੇ ਨੇ ਸੰਤ ਪ੍ਰੀਤਮ ਸਿੰਘ ਥਾਰੂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਅਫਰੀਕਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਹੇ ਉਹ ਬੜੇ ਮਸ਼ਹੂਰ ਸਨ ਉਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਫਾਦਰ ਨੇ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਆਪ ਖੁਦ ਦੇਖਦਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਇਹ ਛੋਟੇ ਜਿਹੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਉਦੋਂ ਤੋਂ ਇਹ ਗੁਰਦੇਵ ਸਿੰਘ ਮਥਾੜੂ ਇਹ ਵੈਸੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਲੀਡਸ ਈਸਟ ਲੰਡਨ ਤੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਯਾਦ ਹੈ ਨੇ ਹਰੇਕ ਹਫਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਉਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਲੰਡਨ ਸੀਗਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਗੁਰਦੇਵ ਸਿੰਘ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਤਾਰਸ਼ਨਾਈ ਸਰੋਦ ਦੇ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਹਨ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਅਮਜਦ ਅਲੀ ਖਾਨ ਜੀ ਤੋਂ ਤਲੀਮਾ ਲਈਆਂ ਹਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਸਤਗੁਰੂ ਜਗਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਨਾਲ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਸਤਾਦ ਬਿਸਮਿਲਾ ਖਾਨ ਜੀ ਨਾਲ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਹੋਰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੋ ਇੰਨਾ ਕੁਝ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਥੋੜ ਬਹੁਤ ਆ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋ ਕਹਿਣ ਵਾਲਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਪਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਵਕਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੋ ਕਰਦੀ ਸੀਗੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਪਾਲੀ ਕਲਸੀ ਜੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰ ਹੀ ਬੈਠੇ ਜੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੈ ਹੈ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹੱਥ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਹੋਣਾ ਕਿ ਆ ਖੂਬਸੂਰਤੀ ਨਾਲ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਬਜਾਇਆ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਤਾਲਾਂ ਹਨ ਇਹ ਸਿੱਧਾ ਕਹਿਰ ਨੂੰ ਆਚਾ ਦਾਲ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਜੀ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ 12 ਮਾਤਰਾ 10 ਮਾਤਰਾ 7 ਮਾਤਰਾ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਜਿਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੀ ਆਣਾ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੇ ਪਿਆਰ ਆ ਉਹ ਕੋਲ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝੇ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਪਾਲੀ ਹੁਣ ਦਾ ਅਤੀਤ ਨਵਾਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜੇ ਮੈਂ ਨਾ ਪੁੱਦਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਜੇ ਮੈਂ ਆਪ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਸੁਦਾ ਸੁਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਹੁਣ ਤੋਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਤਲੀਮ ਲਈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਦਾਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਮੰਨੇ ਪਛਾਣੇ ਹੋਏ ਸੁਪਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਪੀ ਸੋ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਹਨ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਇਨ ਅਟੈਂਡੈਂਸ
as far as one of the most educated, brilliant and progressive minds in our area. Not just, not just the science scholar have produced. So these fond memories of this amazing guy, Enali Jenny, Jenny Paul Sigi, but he do it Paul Sigi, Das Aap Khemada Da Chikya, Hon Danda program Aap Shuruat Karunge, May Welcome Karna Stage Day, the Right Honorable Fabian Hamilton, MP Northwest. Thank you, Fabian. Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for inviting me to this Basi, especially for our late friend, Seva Singh Khalsi. Uh, I'm grateful to Kiran and to Hardy for making sure that I was here and here at the right time, and it's a pleasure to be back at this wonderful temple on Tom Road. Dear friends, um, in 1988, George Mudi, who was then leader of Leeds City Council, asked me to take on the role of Chair of the Race Equality Equal Opportunities Committee. I was slightly hesitant because whilst I knew a little bit about Judaism, that's my background, about Christianity, that was the school I went to, I knew very little about Sikhism, about Hinduism and about Islam. One man approached me very, very quickly after I was selected and elected, <coughs> and that was Seva Singh Khalsi, a gentle, kind, softly spoken person who wanted to teach me and everybody else about the tenets of the faith that he adhered to, and that was Sikhism. He wrote this beautiful book, which I think has just been shown to you earlier, uh, and he gave me several copies of his book later, once it had been published, A Guide to Sikhism. Could I please spread the word? Could I tell the people who weren't familiar, like me, with the Sikh faith, what it was all about? A faith of devotion, of love, and of equality. And I soon learned, through Seva's teachings, through my friendship that was growing with him, that Sikhism was something to be celebrated here. Here we are, I've got the book here, The Simple Guide. Um, nothing was ever simple, though. But it was a straightforward, well-written guide to what Sikhism meant for our lives here on earth and our lives together, to share this wonderful planet together in peace and harmony. And I think what I learned very quickly was from my first Vaisakhi in 1988. I learned that there was a faith here of equality, not just of sharing, there are very few religions that value men and women equally, and Sikhism is one of those faiths. From my own background, where men and women are segregated in places of worship, I learned that that should never be the case. And here we had a softly spoken, gentle man. I've got a few notes that I just wanted to share with you. Some of them may already have been said, so forgive me if I'm repeating them in my English words. We know that our friend was born on the 26th of June 1930 in Pindozan Kala to a humble family and that he was the first to go to university from his family. That is a familiar story from the 20th century. At college aged around 18 years old, he was inspired by communist ideology post-Indian independence and became a trade unionist fighting for workers' rights. And what a great thing that is to do, especially when workers are so exploited. He completed an LLB in law at the Punjab University in Chandigarh with first class honours, going on to practice as a lawyer. Well, it's very, very difficult to do law. Both my parents were lawyers, but to get a first class degree is even harder. In 1965, he came to the United Kingdom, but he was forced to work in manual jobs for a while like so many other immigrants at the time, whose qualifications were not recognized by the British state. He went on, though, to teach, and after completing his PhD in the Department of Theology and Religious Studies in Le uh, sorry, at Leeds University on the evolution of the Sikh community in Leeds and Bradford, he set up a highly successful module on Sikh studies on the degree program, generating many academic publications as well as publishing his highly popular book, The Simple Guide to Sikhism. 
which is displayed downstairs, and you're welcome to pay to take a copy. Throughout his life, he continued to be active in local politics, and that's how I came across him, as well as community organisations, and through that made a massive contribution to our lives here in Leeds, to the harmony of our communities. I think he would say that one of the highlights of his life was being asked by Leeds City Council as the then chair of the Commission for Racial Equality to welcome Nelson Mandela to Leeds, one of his great heroes, when Nelson Mandela was given freedom of the city of Leeds in the year 2001. It was a momentous occasion, and I was there, and I'm sure one or two of you in this room were also there at the time. It was a real pinnacle. But best of all, he was my mentor, as he was the mentor to so many people. And like many of you, like all of you, I was deeply saddened at his passing. But let me finish by repeating something I hope you'll forgive me for saying from my own tradition, from the Jewish tradition. When somebody passes who is so dear and close to us, we say, may his memory forever be a blessing. And that's how I want to end my tribute. And I want to thank the family and all his friends here today for inviting me to say these few words. Vahe Guru Ji Kakalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Kifate. the right honourable Fabian Hamilton, MP for Leeds the North East in that development here. Thank you so much for giving up your precious time to express these beautiful words and your share your experiences with this society. Before we welcome our next Vlara, which is Professor Max Farah, if you'd like to come to the stage please, I would just like to uh, take time and just acknowledge in attendance Apne Kool, Akatata Hoyne, Apne Ustad Jagdeep Singh Mudanji, to see Jenita Nijan, the Askan, both both Jan, the Sane Pare Piari and Zizne, and the both both Ellen to Skeller to Dekuge, and the body history and the body of Jagdeep Singh Mudan and the Akitan or the Assassin in his island, the Lana Maji Yabar. Now they are a pressure to have a stars in the world, 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 Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Max Farah. Um, I've got a little talk prepared, but Fabian has said some of it, so I'm going to ad lib this. Um, I'm a friend of Inda's, and I've instructed him to physically drag me off the stage if I stay too long, taking up your time. Um, but I'm very honoured to be here, and I want to thank Kieran for organising it. I can't see Kieran, but she must be here, so there she is. Thank you, Kieran, for organizing it. Thank you so much for asking me. It's a great honor to be here in this wonderful temple. Um, and obviously, I want to thank Hinder for hosting a lovely speech from my friend Fabian just now. And I do want to say something about the musicians. I know, I know you hear this fantastic music all the time, but for me, it's a fairly rare occasion. And um, it really was, I couldn't understand the language, unfortunately, but it really was a great, a blessing to be here and hear that beautiful music and to be with you all. So this is what I want to, to say about um, Seba. When I met with um, Kiran on Friday to have a little talk about how I might approach this, she just dropped into the conversation that his name, Seba, uh, is a Punjabi word. I know everybody here knows this, but I didn't. It's a Punjabi word for service. And it made me think Seba, service, sound similar. So I asked Professor Google where this word Seva came from, and the professor came back in a millisecond to tell me it's a Sanskrit word. And I thought, ah, oh, right, so Sanskrit, Indo-European language, that's my language and your language. And I immediately thought, Seva's name invokes the irrefutable thought that we share DNA, and of course we share language. And that 
brought me to the main thing that I want to say right now, which was that Seba was a man who connected us. And that connection goes well beyond DNA and language. It goes right to the heart of how we are supposed to live. And I met him first in 1973. I was, a, I was masquerading as a PhD student at the University of Leeds, but my main job was to be the secretary of the Chapel Town Community Association. And I don't know, some of you will remember the good old days when Leeds City Council could afford to run a community education service, it, youth clubs, if anybody remember them, um, youth clubs, community education, and one of the other things it produced in those days was a directory. And as a kind of callow, white newcomer to Chapel Town, it was an invaluable resource to be able to open up a little duplicated piece, set of papers where every Chapel Town neighborhood organization of every faith, of every national background, of every type was listed. And as a secretary of the community association, I thought, it was time that the community association really reached out properly. It was a multicultural organization, but to reach out properly to the leaders of all the national groups and all the religious groups. So I wrote to them all. I have to say most of them ignored me. But Seva replied very quickly because he was listed there as the secretary of the Indian Workers Association. And Pagan's just quite rightly alluded to this point, that Seva, when I met him, as, as Fabian has rightly said, this warm, kindly, engaging, connecting man talked to me at some length, both about Sikhism and about the Indian Workers Association. And it, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to kind of, when I talk to younger people about this, it's hard to sort of get over the fact that for white people, privileged male, English, well-educated people like me, it was virtually impossible to find out anything in the, ninth, the late 1960s, early 1970s, anything about the people. Some of you here have been labeled like this, and your fathers and grandfathers and grandmothers and aunties have been labeled under this sort of rather disparaging term, Commonwealth immigrants. And you couldn't find out anything about them except by meeting people like Seba and going to the library and reading the books that people like Seba would tell you to read. One of which was a man called DeWitt John, great name, wrote a fantastic book about the Indian Workers Association, which I duly read. I'd heard about them before, but there, there, there it is set out the extraordinary contribution that the Indian Workers Association has made, not just to kind of trade union rights, but to putting Indian working class people at the front and center of political life in this country. And Sela was a pioneer in this, and it took it took tremendous guts, it took tremendous intelligence, it took tremendous personal qualities, and he had them all to persuade, you know, it's not no secret in this room, the white working class was not terribly receptive to those workers who were coming in from, from, uh, the, the, from South Asia. And it was a massively, uh, a massively powerful thing to stand up in a national organization called the Indian Workers Association for trade union rights, obviously prioritizing the rights of Indian people, but the great thing about Seva as a connector was that he completely understood, and again Fabian's mentioned this, he was a communist. So he, he had, as well as his Sikhism, he'd absorbed an internationalist ideology which spoke firmly and resolutely and defiantly for the brotherhood and sisterhood of all human beings, particularly the working classes. And I was already receptive to these sorts of ideas, but it was so important to me to meet this older gentleman with this great knowledge and this great capacity to reach out, to build bridges. We, we live in a time when people are mainly building barriers. Seva built bridges. He, at a time when we're being torn apart, he urged us all to come together. And in my piece that I've written here and discarded, I say lots of other things, but Fabian's already alluded to the main, all the other kinds of ways in which Seva contributed to the 
well-being of all nations, all people, all classes, all colors of people in this city. And one of them, I'm not sure that, um, I don't think Bevy mentioned this, but one of them is this organization called Concord, which is an interfaith organization. And a, a multi-faith organization where everybody of all different religious backgrounds gets together to exchange views and to see what they have in common. And there's an absolutely lovely, in, in here, there's a lovely um, profile of Seba and, um, and Hadith in, 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 in that organization. A beautiful picture, what a handsome guy, what a lovely, beautiful woman, and it's a nice color picture. I really recommend this book. It's one of the ways in which you can find out a lot about these, which in general you can't find out. Edited by Seba's friend, uh, the Reverend Trevor Bates. Uh, and in fact, the interview here is by Trevor Bates. So, um, that's another of the contributions he made, um, and I, I'm about to be torn away, so I just want to read one thing from this lovely, oh, I have got here his PhD, this is the, the PhD that was published, his doctorate that was published, tells you an enormous, told me as an ignorant white man, it told me an enormous amount about the Sikhs in Leeds and Bradford, but this lovely book that's been alluded to a couple of times, I just want to read uh, a quote from it, I've got the page wrong. Um, I've got it. I'll, I'll just go to my notes because I've quoted it in the notes. But it's it's in this it's in this book, which is you don't need to read it, but I did. It's very very useful. Um, so here on page twenty nine, uh, I want to reinforce something Fabian's kind of already alluded to. But this is what Seva says on page twenty nine. According to Sikh teachings, a Sikh is not a passive spectator. In, in this world. He or she is expected to be an active participant in the drama of human affairs. Yeah. The concept of Dansala, sorry for my pronunciation, the concept of Dansala implies faith in the oneness of God and the equality of humankind. And it's such an important notion. And just to show how far ahead of the game in Sikhism was, on page 36, Seva, Seva says that Guru Nanak condemned the differential treatment of women, preaching instead for the equality of the sexes. I mean, this is centuries ago. This is long before the so-called European Enlightenment began to think like this. Guru Nanak had, had, had explained that we are one people, we are equal, we're equal between the sexes, and we should be equal between the classes. And I'm massively grateful for what I've learned from Seva, and I'm massively privileged to have been a friend of him and of his wonderful family. So thank you for listening to me, and sorry if I've gone on for too long. Thank you, Professor Max Farah, our comrade, <laughs> indeed. Um, just before I bring uh, Erfan Hanif onto stage, I would just like to say a few more thanks for attendance. Um, that is to um, <laughs> Professor, uh, sorry, Doctors Fuad and Minas Khan, who are also in attendance. Thank you very much for gracing us. It's much appreciated. Thank you. So, without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you the CEO of Touchstone Leeds, uh, um, Touchstone Leeds, Mr. Irfan Hanif. A friend of mine from Weymouth. Thank you. Thank you. I've also got the book. I think <laughs> it's gone round the world. Cecily uh, Gar. And also, Aslam alaikum. Peace and blessings to my brothers and sisters. I hear the voice of Dr. Kelsey behind me saying, say it. Because what he would say is, there's no real difference between what I believe and you believe. The only difference is my strand of hair and I've hardly got any hair left. That is the only difference. Um, I met Dr. Kelsey, so it's almost like the baton. So I came to Leeds in 2000. So I was the principal race equality advisor for Leeds City Council. And when I arrived, one of the first people I met was Dr. Kelsey. And the first thing I remembered was a huge smile and a glow, a sharply dressed man. And the first thing he said to me was, welcome at farm, I hope you enjoy yourself in Leeds. 
Now, he at the time was the deputy chair of the Race Equality Advisory Forum. And no doubt, Fabian knows those forums could be quite vocal. With quite likely so, where communities are highlighting the issues of inequalities and, and discrimination that they experience. So in this forum, you had people representing different communities of leaders, so-called community leaders. And more than often, it was people with their own interests, with the exception of Dr. Kelsey. Not once did he say he represented the Sikh community. But what he represented was his conduct. The conduct of being fair, tackling injustice, being compassionate, coexistence, cooperation, and love. That is a Sikh faith, isn't it? So he wasn't representing the community, but he was definitely representing his village. 2001, he became the chair of that forum. Three critical things happened. We've already highlighted the visit by Nelson Mandela. So, proud moment for me as the, the main lead officer. My job was to advise Dr. Kelsey and the chairs. The second thing was the Stephen Lawrence Inquiry and the implementation of the Stephen Lawrence Inquiry. Key watershed in British race relations. And the third point was the aftermath of 9-11 and the rise of racism and Islamophobia. These are the three critical things under the chairship of Dr. Dr. Stephen Kelsey. Key crucial things. And one of the first things he did was, he said at Farn, let's do a conference on Islamophobia. We were the first organisation in the country to do so in early 2002, which Dr. Kelsey promoted. His view was that all faiths are very similar. There is no real difference. Whilst he chaired these, these forums, he was very able. Three things when I used to advise him. One thing he used to say is, I need to ensure everyone has their say, and fairly. Secondly, he said, you have to ensure these people are brought to account, these senior decision makers. So some of the directors, who are the directors of social services or directors of education, used to get a tough time, and quite rightly so, as key decision makers. And the third point that Dr. Kelsey would highlight is discipline, to make sure the meetings ended on time, <laughs> which is quite an art, believe me, when it comes to chairing. Then I moved on to different roles in the local authority in about five years. It's almost destiny that I ended up with meeting Dr. Kelsey. Then I met him again about 2010, and this time we were both members of the Equality Leads Board. He was in his 80s, and he was still going. Wow. Then the third time was Touchstone, where I'm currently the Chief Executive for. I arrived, and he was there, thinking, Wherever I go, this man is there. <laughs> and in this instance, he was the chair of the Sikh Elder Service. And he made sure that service was funded and continues to do so. For nearly 20 years that service has been going, a key service. Then he became a service user on Touchstone. Our Sikh Elder Service, we've got Sergeant here today from that service, and our dementia service. Due to his illness of dementia, he eventually became a service shooter of ours, and I was privileged. He was a changed man, but his eyes were still the same. He still knew. So where I'm going to end it is his book. Reference to his book has been made. Also, I've got another book on Egyptianology. <laughs> and you'll be wondering why I've got these two books. So, the key thing of inspiration of a person is not what they've done in their life, it's what happens afterwards, how they inspire. So, in 2017, in Touchstone, we introduced compulsory training on a subject matter. It wasn't on religion, it wasn't on Sikhism, it wasn't on Egyptianology. The training was on Islamophobia and Islam. And I used Dr. Kelsey's book to explain what my religion is. So let me explain what this man is really about, in terms of his thinking. And the term that when I met with Kieran recently, the term oneness or ikhanfur, okay? These terms, or tawhid in Arabic, or Unitarianism in Christianity. So, we have Egyptianology, which they say is thousands and thousands of years old. So, some of you may know Cleopatra. Cleopatra is closer to our time and age 
than Cleopatra was when the pyramids of Giza were put in it. So a very ancient faith goes down thousands of years. So to say the starting point of Egyptianology, if you look at the epitaphs and the hieroglyphics, the starting point is reference to one god which is unified, and the word for that god is Osiris. Starting point of Egyptianology. Now you go through various religions through time, Judaism, Hinduism, Danism, Islam, Christianity, you go to the 15th century, Sikhism, Guru Nanaki, may peace, blessings be upon him. The words he uttered were the same words uttered thousands of years ago, and that is the oneness of one God. That is Islam, basically, teaching people. And what Dr. Kelsey was really highlighting was there is no difference. When we talk about oneness, oneness of the divine or the beloved, oneness of creation, oneness of the universe and cosmos, and more importantly, oneness of humanity itself. That's throughout his history, whether he was a communist or an activist, he was seeking the oneness of humanity, which is the core belief of Sikhism. You can call it communism, you can call it whatever. These are Western ideologies. But he knew the ancient truth that has been echoing through time. So, in terms of a tribute for this man on this earth, a great activist, a great educator, a lawyer, an academic, an intellectual, great things in this world, but also the next world. So I wish Dr. Kelsey give him all the blessings as he meets his destiny with eternity and with the beloved. So thank you for listening. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Erfan Hanif, Chief Executive of Touchstone Leeds. Hold Ante Vich, May Choti Pan, Sarjit Kono, Si Mai Karnia, Yereke, Manager, Sarik, Seek Elder Service Energy. Thank you. Thank you. मैंने बात सही करा कि पहले बोला कहा कि जो मैं जो दो मैं भी थी जो मूव हुई थी 1995 कॉन्कोर्ड इंटरफेस विच में पहला बारी डॉक्टर कालसी के द्वारा मेडिकल बात हुई और थे मेरे सोलह साल में पैसों पर शीश सिंह में मेरे लिए एक्सपीरियंस की थी सीधा मिशोर भी बात से था डॉक्टर कालसी के द्वारा उन्होंने मेरी दूसरी बारी जो तो मैं मिली सी मैं सी ख्याल दस सर्विस दे बीच शामिल कोई पर मैं जो तो देखती जामा कि एक बंदा मैं देखी आगे थे मैं कह रही हूँ जैसे दिन रहा था ना एंड मैंने पिशान मैंने कोई मैं पिशान या नहीं क्योंकि पोस्ट पे जो है ना रूट बदल गया सी उन्होंने केस आये कि सी
ਇੱਕ ਹਿੱਕ ਕੀਤੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਬਸ ਸਟਾਪ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਕੇਕ ਖਲਾਇਆ ਤਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਜਨਮ ਦਿਨ ਦੇ ਮੁਬਾਰਕ ਦਿੱਤੀਆਂ ਨਾਲੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਨੇ ਕਾਰਡ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਉਹ ਕਾਰਡ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦੋ ਤਿੰਨ ਹਫਤੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਹੱਥ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੱਖ ਕੇ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਫਿਰ ਪੜ ਪੜ ਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਰ ਮੁਸਕਾਨ ਤੇ ਦਾ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਨਾਲ ਪੜ ਪੜ ਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਦਿਲ ਭਰਦਾ ਸੀ ਹਨਾ ਕਿ ਸਾਰੇ ਨੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇੰਨਾ ਕੁਝ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਹੈ ਹਨਾ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਖੁਸ਼ ਰੱਖੋ ਜਦੋਂ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਖੁਸ਼ ਰੱਖੋ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਕਿ ਸੰਗਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਈ ਬੈਠੇ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਾਂ ਬਾਪ ਦਾ ਖਿਆਲ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਆ ਜਿਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਡਿਮੈਂਸ਼ਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਆ ਜਿਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਮੋਬਿਲਿਟੀ ਠੀਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਹਨਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਹਾਰਾ ਬਣੋ ਕਿ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਛੋਟੇ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਦਰਵਾਜ਼ਾ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਹਰ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਦਾ ਪੂਰਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਹੁਣ ਜਦੋਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਕੱਢ ਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਪ੍ਰਿਸਕ੍ਰਿਪਸ਼ਨ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਇਆ ਕਰੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਨਾਲ ਜਾ ਕਰੋ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਇਆ ਕਰੋ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਉੱਥੇ ਨਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮਾਰਾ ਕੇ ਨਾ ਕਿਤਾ ਨਾ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੱਥਾ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਗੋਰ ਮਾਰਾ ਕੇ ਕੋਲ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਇਆ ਕਰੋ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵੀ ਦਿਲ ਬਹੁਤ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਬਸ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਕਹਿ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵਰਡ ਸੇਵਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਇਸ ਜੋ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਦੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਸੇਵਾ ਭਾਰਤ ਦੇ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਹੁਤ ਬੜੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਸੋਚੋ ਕਿ ਮਾਰਾ ਜੀ ਕਿਦਾਂ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਬਜ਼ੁਰਗਾਂ ਦੀ ਕਿਦਾਂ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈ ਬਸ ਕੋਈ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਮਾਫ ਕਰਨੀ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਜਾਂਚ ਕਰਨੀ ਵਾਈ ਜੀ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਖਾਸਾ ਸਾਸਰ ਜੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਹੋਏ ਨਾ ਦਾਸ ਲਈ ਦੇਵਾ ਕੇ ਦਾਸ 